All right, YouTubers, what's going on? I'll come back at you with another knife video. It's been a while since I did a knife video. So many other videos out there to do. Um, but, you know, as usual, knives are going to be the most videos you're going to see on this channel. So, got a new knife here from Boker USA. This is called the Boker Plus USA. Now, a little bit about that. This is their new, uh, they've actually started manufacturing knives in the United States um, through Fox Knives USA. So, kind of funny, a German company manufacturing through an Italian company in the United States. Yeah. Anyway, made in the USA. This is their new line called the Patriot Series. And this one is the orange um, FRN handle scale, or GRN, I guess you'd call. Um, and it is a lockback design, very similar to like a Spyderco Delica is the first knife that comes to mind. In fact, I think we've, have, we've even had an orange Delica very similar to this. So, A little bit about the specs of this knife. It, like I said, glass reinforced nylon handles. It is a lockback. It is screw construction, it's not pinned, so you can take the knife apart very easily. It has a deep carry pocket clip that is right hand and left hand carry, tip up only. So you can switch the clip over, which is nice. Uh, a little bit deep carry, you're going to have that much of the knife sticking out of your pocket, which is good. And you got a little lanyard attachment there. Um, knife blade is a drop point design, has 154 cm steel, so a good steel. Um, for a inexpensive knife, I mean these come into market. I think they're around seventy dollars, seventy three dollars, something like that. I got mine from Blade Ops, so I just picked it up today, actually in person. Um, so a cool design. Um, nice to see them making knives in the United States and putting them out with a good steel for a good price. Um, there's not a lot of knives made in the U.S. anymore that are in this price range, so. I can think of like the Kershaw Link, um, which is actually a little less expensive, but nothing else comes to mind because the Delicas are made in Japan um, from Spyderco. So other than that, I mean, it's like I said, I'm having a hard time thinking of one. So yeah, these run about 74 bucks. So let's go over the uh, details here. The overall length is 7.5 inches. Blade length is 3.375, so almost 3.4. 154 cm steel and a drop point, like I mentioned. It has a um, satin finish on there, of course. Um, 4.125 is your closed length. And this one, of course, is orange, pretty obvious. Weighs at 2.1 ounces, so super lightweight. Um, this is a design by R Relmond Lotak. I probably um, just completely butchered that name, but he's a German knife designer. Um, obviously, G Boker's roots are in Germany, so. But it, like I said, made in the USA uh, through Fox Knives USA, and they're going to plan on to bring more knives, so. I believe, if I could be wrong, I don't know if they're continuing to make all their Boker Plus knives in the USA or if they're going to continue to make some in China and some in the US, but either way, they're bringing some models to the US, which is great. So let's compare it here to the, this is an old school Delica, guys. This is an old stainless steel Delica, but same size as the current Delicas, and you can see they're very similar in shape and size. I mean, I'd say the Boker, or the, yeah, the Boker has a little bit more blade and maybe a titch longer handle. Um, here is the Buck Bantam. This is actually my son's knife. Very similar size to knife to these two. Also a lockback. These are pretty much all the lockbacks I have. And then I have this little guy here. The H1 Dragonfly. So another lockback on uh, with FRN handles as well. So size comparisons for you. It is a good EDC size. Super lightweight. Um, now let me talk about the fit and finish of the knife being that it's made in the US and you know Boker has kind of a weird history of, of fit and finish on their knife. Sometimes they're really good, sometimes they're crappy. So this is good. I mean no no problems. I took this knife apart actually already. Kind of gave it an interior look. It looks it's pretty simple construction with that lock back, but it looks nice. I mean everything was well made. Um, the blade centering was pretty much spot on out of the box. The action is is okay. It's not great. It'll blur it break in as most lockbacks do. It's a little stiff now, but that's pretty typical with, with brand new lockbacks. Um, but it's not like it's a, a cold steel um, triad lock where sometimes they can be really stiff to disengage. It's very easy to disengage the knife. It's just kind of difficult to do it one-handed, but you can do it. It's not quite smooth enough yet, but I'm sure it will smooth out for that. Blade finish is good. Um, there's your Boker. You can see it's very high polished, so it's going to have fingerprints. Boker USA, and then you have 154 cm uh, USA as well. <clears throat> the thumb studs are looks like they're removable. 
um, or if you want to switch the thumb set over it can be ambidextric so you can put this on the left side even though this would function just fine on the left side I guess if you want to switch around and you get a little they look identical so I'm not sure why you'd switch it <laughs> but it's there there's an option there's a torque torque wrench there um, ergonomics of this knife are actually fantastic that was one of the things first things I noticed when I picked it up put it in my hand is it felt nice the jimping right here on the top of the blade is in the perfect spot for your thumb and your the handle just locks into your hand you can have medium sized hands I had a buddy with me when I checked these out has he's a pretty good big guy he has pretty big hands and he felt like it was a very ergonomic knife for him as well so if you have larger hands it should work out pretty good um, other than that the edge came I mean the grind it's pretty even not bad not bad at all pretty well done actually I've had some bokers come from China that are hit and miss but it looks good on this and it does have like a little bit of a choil here it's kind of weird it's you can you can barely fit your finger in there and you're pretty much right up against that edge it would have been nice for them to, to see to make that choil a little bit bigger I mean you can choke up a bit but it's maybe a little for light work nothing too much because you could easily slip your finger up on that blade there but this this grip here it really locks in tight and it's just really grippy material that is one of the nice things it's got some good texturing on it as you can see here and it's got some nice finger grooves here it's super comfortable I mean one of the more ergonomic knives I've held so the, the FRN feels nice or GRN glass reinforced nylon um, it feels nice in the hand it's not too abrasive or anything uh, the clip works well like I mentioned um, the edge came very sharp out of the box let me look around for some paper all I've got here is this little wrapper. That might work. This is pretty thin. This is almost as thin as um, phone book paper, and it's having no problem with that. So it's got a got a nice sharp edge out of the box, and like I said, the centering was good. The action's a little stiff, but I'm sure that'll open up. I mean, it's a lockback. It's not you're not going to be able to flick it out very easily, and lockbacks tend to op to smooth out with time, but. Um, it's you know it's not bad at all so but again I mean cool knife made in the USA by Boker or excuse me by Fox Knives for Boker <laughs> kind of confusing good price point I mean 74 bucks you get 154 CM steel which is what you're gonna get like on a mini grip or a griptilian which is around the same price uh, actually those are usually a little bit more maybe me a mini grip a full-size grip which is more comparable in size to this would be closer to a hundred dollars um, or more for the F or the nylon handle, the G10 are obviously like more like 170. So, but it's a you know it's a good deal I think. Uh, 154 seems a good steal, and you get a really ergonomic, lightweight EDC knife that you barely know is in your pocket. I had this was been carrying this in my like change pocket today, and it's been you know nice. hasn't even I don't even notice it's there. Uh, thumb studs work well. Again, I'm not a, I'm not a ginormous fan of lockbacks. Um, they obviously are a strong lock, and they're going to work well. But, you know, just as far as one hand and opening and shutting, they're not the best, typically. But overall, pretty handsome knife. It comes in a few different colors. This is the orange, which is actually a really bright orange. I've seen some pictures, and it looks more dark. It's a really bright, bright orange. I mean, it's, it's as orange as orange can get. Very bright. They have a blue. Um, it's just kind of like a royal blue. They have a black, and then they have a coyote tan. So they have four different models of, or colors available. So I think they're... I mean, I kind of feel like they're going for that Delica market because they're they're getting a similar size knife um, similar materials and same kind of locking mechanism and they're bringing out multiple colors I mean it just sounds like a Delica so but you know it's made here in the USA which is great and it's got a little bit better steel than VG10 I feel like 154 CM is a little better than VG10 in my opinion and it comes in like at a budget range so it's not um, you know it's under 100 bucks it's it's a great little knife I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it great ergos I mean, really, really good articles. Melts in your hands. So that'll probably wrap it up for this first impressions video. Um, I'm going to carry it in this and use this and kind of give my, you know, final impressions probably in the later video if I get around to it. Sometimes I sell these knives before I get around to those videos or I get many, many other things in the docket and I do YouTube part time. So I don't have time to, to do every video I want to do. But overall, I'm pretty impressed um, with this new new offering from Boker. I think it's going to be a big seller for them and I think you know for someone that doesn't like 
the Delica, maybe they don't like the opening hole, they like the they want, you know, like a thumb stud. This would be a great alternative. You get a little bit better steel. And it's just a little bit bigger knife. You're gonna get a little bit bigger blade, but weight wise, I mean it's around the same. I mean just over two ounces for this thing, it's crazy light, so all right, guys, that'll, um, that's actually a good point to bring up. There is no liners in this. It's all just FRN handle with the, um, yeah, just all FRN, and then you have your lock back. So that's probably how they keep the weight down so much. And then, then this little, almost a backspacer here is also FRN. So probably what keeps the weight down. Um, you know, some of the spider toes, like this dragonfly doesn't have liners either. Um, I know some of those lockbacks do, so... And this one is all stainless steel, hard to compare there. That's an old school guy. I've had that one for years. It's beat to heck. <laughs> but that'll that'll uh, wrap up the video on the Boker Patriot. Um, any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, like I said, Blade Ops has these in stock. I think I saw them at Blade HQ. Um, other than that, I haven't. I did see one dealer on Amazon, but I haven't seen them on Amazon Prime yet. As soon as that happens, I'll throw my link in the description for the store, and you can purchase it there. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.